Cryptocurrency is a digital currency that works on the blockchain technology and is designed to work as a medium of exchange online to buy goods and services and make payments. It was first introduced to the world by Satoshi Nakamoto in 2008. In this video, we will explore the concept of cryptocurrencies in the context of Islamic law and their compatibility with the principles of Islamic finance. Cryptocurrencies have gained significant attention in recent years as digital assets that use blockchain technology. As these digital assets become more popular, they raise important questions about their legal status and compatibility with Islamic law. Cryptocurrency is decentralized and free from any third party appearance, which means it's not issued or regulated by any government or central authority like banks where the government handles the system to coordinate the transaction. Cryptocurrency also charge very low transaction costs. There is no extra delay or extra charges for you for making international transactions. All you need to do is create an account on any digital wallet cryptocurrency. The legal status and treatment of cryptocurrency vary across the world and jurisdiction. Some countries have banned or restricted the use of cryptocurrency while others have recognized and regulated them as a legal tender, securities, or property. For example, in the United States, the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, has applied AUGI test, which is four-part test, to determine whether an asset is a security or not to cryptocurrency. According to AUGI test, an asset is security if it's involved an investment of money in a common enterprise with an expectation of profit derived from the efforts of others. The SEC has concluded that some cryptocurrencies are not security such as Bitcoin and Ethereum as they are sufficiently decentralized and do not depend on the efforts of central entity or promoter. In contrast, in Malaysia, the Securities Commission SEC has issued guidelines that classify all digital tokens including cryptocurrency as securities unless they are offered otherwise. The SC has stated that any person who intends to offer any digital token must first submit an application to the SC for the approval and registration. As you can see, the legal jurisprudence on commodification of cryptocurrency is still evolving and developing as different countries and jurisdictions try to adapt and respond to these new challenges and opportunities posed by this new and innovative phenomenon. Did you know that Muslim scholars from all around the world are having different uh, opinions and concerns in the use of cryptocurrency? This is due to the potential of cryptocurrency to have features that are haram in Islamic law. According to Mills and Noel in 2019 on cryptocurrency, there is a strong link between crypto trading and also gambling. And as we all know, gambling is haram in Islam and this has been mentioned in Surah Al-Ma'idah verse 90 mentioned that gambling is Satan's handiwork which we must avoid. Next, the issue of cryptocurrency is being discussed globally as it is unclear if cryptocurrency systems are scalable. This is due to the technology and system that cryptocurrency do not seem to able uh, to handle high volume of transaction for widely use and only a small portion of uh, financial transaction can be done. When I first looked into this issue, I was shocked to find out that not only Muslim people are having the concern of using cryptocurrency, but also people from all around the world are having issues with using of cryptocurrency. These concerns include the absence of regulation and protection against manipulative transaction. And this is important to note because even though cryptocurrency seems to look like resilient to manipulation, unfortunately, users are becoming victims to hacking and also scams. Based on the study conducted by Siswan Toro in 2020, in big countries like China and Russia, cryptocurrency is banned uh, due to safety and risk. Commodities are the thing we buy and sell and they come from nature in specific place. These resources are important for our country growth and development. Industries like manufacturing, agriculture and energy need these resources a lot. These resources are important, countries compete a lot to get them. And sometimes these competitions um, involve a political issues. Moreover, community often see significant changes in their price. These fluctuations happen because of global supply and demand and even around the world. The price can go either up or down due to natural disaster and political issues. This uncertainty in price may be challenging for business and industry to plan for the future. Overall, 
the market of commodities influenced by an unpredictable factor make the commodities market dynamic and sometimes unstable. Furthermore, commodities can be easily traded without changing their values. This makes um, trading smoother and ensure that commodities have a consistent price. This quality make commodity goods for using as money because they are accepted everywhere with the same words. There are some scholars who agree that cryptocurrency can be a commodity and the Islamic law. However, there is also some scholars disagree that cryptocurrency can be the commodity and the Islamic law. It is important to note that the acceptance of cryptocurrency right now must be in terms of their characteristics, their adherence on the Sharia perspective. In my opinion, there must be a further study and discussion about the cryptocurrency among the Islamic finance expertise so that cryptocurrency can be benefit our bank future. First, the challenges of cryptocurrency uh, Sharia compliance. The volatile and uncertain nature of cryptocurrencies raises concern about Gara, uh, that means excessive uncertainty, and riba interest which are prohibited in Islamic finance. The second one uh, of challenges is uh, regulation. The decentralized nature of cryptocurrency creates or a lack of uh, regulatory oversight, potentially hindering transparency and fairness. Uh, we will talk about opportunities cryptocurrency in Islamic finance. The first opportunity is financial inclusion. Cryptocurrency offer borderless access to financial services, potentially benefiting and serve population in developing economies. The last one is cross-border transaction. Cryptocurrency can simplify cross-border transaction without a conventional banking channel, promoting fair and transparent international trade as per Islamic uh, finance principles. Let's split it into two parts, the negative impact and the positive impact. Digital currency only available online, making it a powerful medium of exchange that continues to evolve. Unlike traditional currency, cryptocurrency with a finite amount are a good hedge against inflation. Let's talk about cryptocurrencies with a limited supply. So limited supply here refers to a maximum coins that can be created. For example, Bitcoin has a maximum of 21 million coin, which means there is no possibility of inflation due to inability to create new coins. Cryptocurrency enables individuals to transfer funds directly to one another without the needs of intermediaries like banks. This payment system is more private and immune to government regulation compared to other traditional methods. However, it also runs the risk of being used for illicit activity like money laundering. The major financial market may be impacted by the money laundering that arises from these illicit activities in many ways, especially in terms of asset price distortion. I believe that the demand for this measure is unwarranted because it's only driven by the need to prevent money laundering rather than the real interest of people and market demand. Furthermore, this measure could cause huge fluctuation in international capital flows and exchange rates. In conclusion, there is no denying that cryptocurrencies have the power to influence the global economy and advance technological advancement, financial inclusion, and economic prosperity. In order to use cryptocurrencies in our day-to-day -day activities, it's crucial to consider their permissibility from an Islamic perspective, especially as a Muslim. The discussion regarding cryptocurrency is ongoing, with the new perspective emerging frequently. The future of Islamic finance will be defined by the combination of tradition and innovation in digital age.